their beloved saints. This is so bizarre because I know I've done several videos on the verse, examine yourselves that you be in the faith and explained it in context. But for some reason, I'm only finding old ones I did. So I want to do this for a viewer. He may or may not uh, know, uh, but uh, just hearing him share his uh, testimony and what he's going through. He's, he's not a teacher. He just vlogs about his experiences. I heard about him through um, uh, one of my viewers. And so I heard him say, you know, we're supposed to examine ourselves and and check that, you know, we believe or something like that. And uh, I wanted to be clear that this verse is not telling you to be introspective to see if you're really saved. That That's not what this verse is doing at all. I, I want to um, do this again. I'll show you the context and proof of what it actually is saying. Peter talks about how some things Paul says are hard to be understood and that some people rest scriptures to their own destruction. This is one of them. A lot of preachers, Paul Washer, took this verse out of context and did an entire sermon on it. Telling people to check, you know, look at themselves. Do you have sin? Are you, have you repented enough? All these shaky, sandy foundations that nobody should be standing on for the assurance of their salvation. Our assurance of salvation is God's promise. God who cannot lie promised before the world began. That if we put our trust in what Jesus did on Calvary, the gospel, his death, burial, and resurrection, that we would have eternal life. His blood paid our sin debt. That is it. The foundation is true. It is strong. It is the rock that is Jesus Christ. No other foundation can be laid. So your assurance is based on the merits of Christ, right? God rewards the faithful. Our behavior is a matter of chastisement, fellowship, reward, loss of it, testimony, <coughs> witness, but not salvation. <coughs> and Paul certainly is not telling the Corinthian church to examine themselves that they're real Christians. That's not what's going on here. What's happening here is that Paul has been called a false apostle for many reasons. One, he's not a great public speaker, apparently. Uh, you can see that in the second Corinthian letter where they're kind of insulting his presence as a speaker. Uh, two, Judaizers are coming in behind him claiming there's some great uh, a theological knowledge of the law and you see Paul defending himself and he said let join me in my folly a little bit let me boast he doesn't want to boast because none of these things matter that he was a Pharisee a son of a Pharisee born of the tribe of Benjamin etc so he qualifies there and so what's happened here is the church is, has done a grave sin by demanding proof that Christ is speaking through Paul. And so Paul is saying, okay, you want to examine me? Examine yourselves that you be in the faith. Prove your own selves. So what he's saying is, you want to prove I'm an apostle? Look to yourself. If you're in the faith, then I'm clearly an apostle. The Holy Spirit wouldn't dwell in you if I wasn't an apostle of Jesus, right? So th that's the point. Now let's look at the chapter. It is 2 Corinthians 13. I have failed in the past to be clear on the verse numbers, and I want to ask you to read along with me. Pull it up. I'm in the King James Version, 2 Corinthians 13. Sometimes seeing it makes it easier to understand. Some people are better at hearing. Some people are better at reading for comprehension. So if you go over to 2 Corinthians 13, that's the background. You can see it in this context and the context before it. In addition, there was a gentleman in the first Corinthian letter that was having affair with his father's wife. And he was telling him, get that wicked person out of there. But in this letter, he's saying, oh, he's repented of it. Bring him back into fellowship. And now don't keep talking about it lest he be overtaken with grief. Okay. So let's start at 2 Corinthians 13. This is the third time I am coming to you. In the mouth of two or three witnesses shall every word be established. He's talking about the report of what's going on at their 
church in his absence. That's why he mentions that. I told you before and foretell you as if I were present the second time and being absent now, I write to them which heretofore have sinned and to all other that if I come again, I will not spare. Just told you some of that was going on. There was common fornication among them. There was uh, that man sleeping with his father's wife. There were them uh, calling him a false apostle, bringing in legalism and circumcision, etc., to the gospel. All kinds of stuff going on. They were carnal, babes in Christ. Read the first Corinthian letter and you'll know what he's talking about when he says, which heretofore have sinned. Okay, so I want to give you a background on that. Since you seek a proof of Christ speaking in me, which to you word is not weak, but mighty in you. Okay, context. Christ to you word is not weak, but mighty in you. Here it is. You seek proof of Christ speaking in me, which to you word is not weak, but is mighty in you. The presence of Christ speaking in him to them was not weak. It should be evidence enough. All right. But they're seeking proof in addition. For though he was crucified through weakness, yet he liveth by the power of God. For we also are weak in him, but we shall live with him by the power of God towards you. Examine yourselves, whether you be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves, how that Jesus Christ is in you, except you be reprobates. But I trust that you shall know we're not reprobates. So here's the thing. Paul is merely saying, if you want to examine me, examine yourselves, prove your own selves. Don't you know that Christ is in you? And if Christ is in you, then I must be an apostle. That's the proof of Christ speaking in me. You, you're the proof. So um, that is the context of this verse. Uh, I hope it's clear here. Um, I'm really surprised I don't have a more current video on this issue. I know all you guys have heard me say this many times. So, But anyway, I wanted to put it out because I couldn't find one. All right. I hope it helps. God bless.